Ooh, oh yeah, before we go inside, before I forget, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel, hit that big thumbs up. Let's go eat some good fish. Oh my gosh, guys, 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 guys. I have something so exciting to share with you guys. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a brand new recipe. Like seriously guys, I'm not just exaggerating. It's like, you guys are gonna love this recipe. This is gonna be whew, so good, so good, so good. This is not the only thing that we're doing this episode, guys. I'm gonna be showing you guys the rigs that we used really quick, and then I also wanna show you something pretty exciting that's in the boat right now next to me, and I just I kinda can't stop looking at it anyways. So guys, here it is, pretty quick. This is gonna be a pretty quick part of this episode. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going over the rigs that we used to catch those giants. And if you haven't watched that episode yet, by the way, the part one of this is going offshore fishing. We had an epic day offshore. Oh, that's a good fish right there, Donnie. Oh yeah. That's the one we're looking for, baby. Yes, sir. Dude, Look at that. give me some of that, baby. Holy smoke. What is this? Holy. That's fire truck city, baby. <laughs> Holy smokes. And I'll, I'll put the thumbnail to that at the end of this video so you won't miss out on it. You do gotta check it out though. It's, it's pretty amazing. We had an amazing time. We caught some giant fish. We caught some great fish to eat and that's what we're gonna be eating in this episode. So uh, by the way, guys, I am starving right now. <laughs> I'm starving like crazy right now. I just can't wait to get inside and eat this fish. So look guys simple knocker rig everybody knows what a knocker rig is i'll explain it really quick if you don't um we're, what we're using is 60 pound fluorocarbon and how i figure out the length of the leader i usually do like an arm's length leader 60 pound fluorocarbon 60 circle hook this is what we're using for offshore big grouper big cobia things like that um and the knocker rig basically you you slide the the egg sinker on and then you tie your hook on it's that it's that simple and then to tie your leader onto your line i use an albright fishing knot love that knot um it's actually my favorite knot i think i have a video on on tying that knot um but yeah knocker rig three ounce egg weight 60 circle hook for offshore fishing uh, that's that's a lot of what i use 30 knocker rig um three ounce knocker rig and a six and a six out hook um the other Thing that i'm excited to share with you guys is the hog ball hog balls guys it's a weight attached to a hook already and you can actually get them in different colors the white's one of my favorite but you can get them in super super light i think that's an eighth of an ounce but look guys this is what i was using offshore to catch the yellowtail snapper and mangrove snapper yellowtail nice baby than I nice. That's a beautiful fish. It's worth hanging around for. Yeah, it is. This is what we primarily use here for hogfish on the West Coast. A lot of the guys around Tampa Bay know about them. Um, it's actually my uh, my buddy that makes them. His name is John Chapman. I'm gonna link where you can buy these in the description below. Yes, John, that's a free plug right for you. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hey, those are those are the rigs. Oh, by the way, when you're using those rigs, I usually use 20 pound fluorocarbon. You might want to use bigger leader. I don't know what you use, but anyways, guys, hey, let me show you guys what I got in the boat. Oh my gosh, yes, I know. My motor guide friends are probably mad at me. So this is a 112 pound thrust, Minn Kota. Let me show you one of the differences. Ooh. Look at this thing, guys. This thing literally, it dwarfs what I have on there. Because what I have on here already is I have a 60 inch shaft, which works okay, but I bumped it up to a 72 inch. It's really gonna help with when I'm in the big waves and stuff. Um, I'm really excited about this. In fact, I'm gonna probably make a video on installing this. Anyways, comment in the comments below if you like me to make a video on installing this new Minn Kota. Now don't get me wrong guys, I absolutely love the motor guide, but the problem with it is, is I buy things now, I'm a charter captain, need to get back in the water fast, and when the motor guide breaks, I, I'm really at the mercy of Bass Pro Shops, which is really not helping me out at all. Um, so I went with the Minn Kota because the warranty package, I got an awesome warranty package, 
and I'm almost guaranteed to be back in the water the same day. And that's local to here. It might be different where you are, but that's why I went with the Minn Kota. All right, guys, we are back at the house and today we're doing a clean eating recipe. So if you're in the mood to take your diet to a healthy level, that's what we're doing today. Right, baby? Yes. Brittany made some homemade pesto sauce. Is it sauce? Pesto sauce, yes. Pesto sauce. And then what else do we got? Uh, we... Oh, yeah, we got some guacamole dip, home, homemade guacamole dip, and we're going to be eating them with these. These are actually healthy chips. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using ghee for this, uh, for this recipe here just to cook the fish. And this is a really simple recipe for the fish. Ghee is actually just purified butter. So if you want to eat healthy and you like butter, you want to look up ghee. So I'm just going to brush a few strokes of ghee over top of this uh, fish right here. And that's just really just so the salt sticks. I'm going to put some sea salt on there. Super simple guys, really simple recipe. You don't want the fish to stick to the tin foil. So we're just going to layer that the side down that we seasoned. Put that side down. And what we're going to be doing next is we're going to simply be putting a little, another little stroke of ghee. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on there. Not a lot, just a little bit. That's actually enough for all the fish right there. Ooh, and there's fresh garlic. And my wife gave me a good idea. She's actually told me um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be throwing the recipe um, to make that homemade pesto. We're gonna be throwing that in the description of this video. So if you wanna see the recipe on how to make homemade pesto, and while we're folding it the way we're folding it is simply just so that it doesn't um, pour out in the grill. So we're gonna be grilling this bad boy. So that right there is ready for the grill. Ooh, yeah, there's the grill, baby. We're gonna close this grill up. We're gonna let it heat up to about five, 600 degrees. And we're gonna come back out here and gonna throw it on the grill. All right, the grill's at about 500 degrees right now. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that just like that. It's literally that easy. Close it up, let it cook about maybe maybe five-ish minutes, something like that. All right, guys, let's go check on the fish. Pretty sure it's done. Ooh, I hear it sizzling already. You ready? Woo! Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Turn this baby off. My dad used to say, it's a beautiful thing to things like this. And it's a beautiful thing for real. It looks amazing. All right, so what I'm going to do, you can actually grab the edges of tinfoil even after it's on the grill. It's not really that hot. I like to bring a, a cooking mitt out. Put it just like that. Now that's a clean kneading recipe for you right there. Whew. I'm going to take a little bit of fresh pesto. I'm going to grab another one of my wife's recipes that she was so sweet to make up for us. And that is our all-famous guacamole, which I need a serving spoon for. Guacamole. And this is, again, this is a healthy guacamole. I think there's only cilantro, red onions, um, fresh garlic, lime, lime juice, and avocados. And that's it. And then these bad boys have that little nacho flavor, which is absolutely delicious. That's... Oh, yeah. All right, guys, this is called the moment of truth. You guys know that's what I love to call this moment because... The truth comes out in the facial expression after you take a bite of food. Whether it's good or bad, you just know by the facial expression. I'm about to dive into this food, but before I do, I wanted to tell you guys why am I promoting clean eating? The reason why I'm promoting clean eating, guys, is because 
I have a little victory I want to tell you guys about. I did Whole30 two times. I, I actually came on and off of it. We actually did Whole30 and then we did Paleo and then Whole30. But anyways, guys, after two times of doing Whole30, I am pleased to announce to you guys, I actually lost 30.4 pounds, guys. I feel amazing, I feel so much more energized, and it's all because of clean eating. It's not like some crazy diet, but it's all about just eating just real whole foods, fish, chicken, steak. Uh, you can have carbs like potatoes and things. You just can't have like artificial sweeteners. You can't have sweeteners, uh, added sweetener at all. Like, um, it's really not a hard diet, guys. It's just eating clean. That, that's all it has to do with. But let's dive into this. This is, oh gosh, I'm so excited about this. See, I, I like, I'm a zesty guy. So I like, I like zesty stuff. Mmm. Ooh. That has, that has an Italian flavor. That would be so good in like a, in like a, in a pasta. Like a pasta dish for, for fish, whoo, I can't have pasta, but, well, I think I could. I'm sure there's some paleo pasta. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. And these chips, guys, you guys have to try these chips. These are so good, and they go perfect with this recipe. Little guacamole, a little fresh guacamole. Mmm. And what makes guacamole? The lime. The lime and the cilantro. Firm believer. I put the whole garden to cilantro on things I'm eating. Hey, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Mm. Oh yeah. I was gonna tell you guys. How do you guys like me mixing up mixing it up with the videos? Doing new stuff. I'm doing some exploratory stuff. Some outdoor things. Outdoor living. Um, not only that, but some things to do around Anna Maria. Some things to do around Tampa. Sarasota. St. Pete. I mean, we're getting into it, guys. Doing some new stuff. Hope you guys like it. Appreciate you guys. See you next time.